Here we have a Dell Alienware laptop that came in for repair. And the laptop came in for no power. We already disassembled the board and the board looks something like this. And let's go over the board and see what's going on and why the board is not turning on without wasting any time. The first thing I do when working on laptops is I check the DC connector, DC power MOSFETs. I start from there. Or sometimes I do visual inspection. Maybe we can start with visual inspection. Why break the rule? Sometimes we're able to figure out the problem by just doing visual inspection. Maybe we have a burnt component, maybe we have a knocked off component, a discolored component, corrosion, a lot of things. You can tell a lot by doing visual inspection. Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. PCBWay is committed to meeting all your PCB needs. They offer quality on time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards starts at $5 with 24 hours turnaround. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. Most of the times you're not able to figure out the problem by just doing visual inspection, but it only takes a minute. You see, I'm just browsing through the board like Superman. I do not need to analyze every dot on that board. Just quick visual inspection. I'm not looking for anything specific, just anything abnormal. That's what I'm looking for. Those components, they all look normal to me. Okay, so the board looks perfect. Excellent condition. Right now we do not have any DC connector on the board because the DC connector connects with this. Where is it? It should be labeled as DC in. This one is the battery and this one is DC in. Meter in diode mode. Look at this. A zero ohm short. 0, 0.000 diode reading. Voltage drop. We have a short circuit. Every single Dell Alienware I work on has a short circuit. Every single one. And a lot of them are deemed a no-fix because of CPU problems. I do not have much hope for this one, but since we are already working on the board, let's figure out what's going on. Usually it's a DR MOS that we replace, and then it turns out to be a CPU problem. Even after changing the DR MOS, laptop will turn on for three seconds and then back off. I've done this six million times on this channel and it's always a CPU related problem. So I do not know why it would be different for this one, but we're gonna do it anyway. Since we already started the video, we're gonna do it anyway. We have a marketing company right next door and every time they sell something over the phone, they sell something to somebody over the phone, they knock on their bench, they knock on the wall, they tap on the floor, they jump and hit their head on the ceiling, Sometimes I feel like just punching that wall and stick my hand to their office because they can get very loud. But what can you do? You have to be a good neighbor. Right now what we're going to do is inject voltage at the shorted drain, the one on the left, and we're going to monitor the board under a thermal camera and see what gets hot. Usually it's a minimal heat on any one of the DR MOSFETs that we see down here. Usually, the faulty MOSFET is a little bit discolored, and the coil also. I've shown that in many of the videos I did working on Alienware's. But those coils, they look, they look good. I do not see any discoloration, and I do not see any discoloration on any one of the DR MOSFETs. 
It's always the case when I'm working on those laptops. Let's go ahead and inject voltage at the short. And usually it's a minimal heat spot on any one of the DR MOSFETs right under the CPU. So our CPU is right here. And the DR MOSFETs are right here. We have one, two, three, four, five. Inject voltage. I cannot tell if anything got hot. It's a very minimal heat. I always mention it's a very minimal heat, so you have to have ice like a hawk in order to see what I'm talking about. I went over this many times when working on video cards and working on thick boards where it's very difficult to see where the heat is coming from, but right now I cannot see anything, nothing. Let me check rest of the board. Whatever yellow stuff you are seeing right now are reflections and not heat spots. If I tilt the camera, those heat spots will go away because they are reflections. So you have to be able to differentiate between a reflection and a heat spot. Those are reflections. Let me increase voltage on my voltage injection tool and have that short. If you do not already have this tool and you are in the same type of business or you are doing this as a hobby, you can purchase all your tools from northridgefix.com. Add to car checkout pay and we almost always ship out same day. We carry everything from soldering stations, out there stations, the microscope, original Amtec flux, braid wig, tweezers, whatever you want. Thermal cameras, we currently have them out of stock, but we have a shipment on the way. And I think we just went out of stock on the soldering station, the T3B soldering station that comes with two handles and six tips shipment on the way I do not see anything hot on the board let me rotate the board look on the oh whoa 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 I see something right over here what the first time first time in my life I see a short circuit on back of the board on Dell Alienware's right here I think it may be one of the two caps. I was pointing right here, so it has to be any one of those two caps. Either one is generating a lot of heat, and that's something new on Dale Alienware's. It's never ever a short on back of the board. It's always front of the board. But I'm glad we got it. Okay, so right now we have a couple of options. We can inject voltage and a drop of alcohol and see where alcohol will evaporate first or we can use an atomizer or we can just remove the caps one by one we only have two and we'll take a wild guess let's go that route let's take a wild guess so we can keep the suspense going which one do you think is faulty this one or this one if in fact it's either one of those two which one looks faulty to you place your bets this one? All right, let's start with this one. And let's see. Meter and diet mode. So this one is not the shorted cab. Whoever placed their bets on this cap, you lost. Let's check this one. Okay, so we still have a short. What can you do? unless I was pointing at the wrong spot because we have more caps down here. Maybe I got too excited and I pointed at the wrong spot.
That guy wanted to escape. Not today. Maybe tomorrow. We're going to have to go over the thermal camera again just to pinpoint where the short is coming from and then we can narrow it down. Okay, so right here. Oh, I'm at the wrong spot. It's not those two, but one of those two. Which one? Place your bets. Left or right? Let's start with this one. Meter in diet mode. Do we still have a short? And we do. Let's remove the other one. And do we still have a short? See? The short is gone. That's the bad guy. Say hello to the bad guy. He wasted our time. Out. And we're done. Hopefully the laptop works. We're gonna go over those caps one more time to make sure we do not have a short circuit. Meter in diet mode. And we do not have a short circuit anymore. I'm reading 0 0.4 voltage drop. Awesome. And if we check here where we initially started, we do not have a short anymore. And if we flip the board and measure at the DC MOSFETs where we previously measured right here, we should not have a short anymore. You see? 0 0.4 voltage drop. We did it. We did it. I'm going to hand the board over to Big Boss to assemble and test, and hopefully I have good news for you. I'll be back. All right, we are done with the reassembly, and look at this. Look at this beauty. The laptop is working again. I mean, look at the assembly on this laptop. To disassemble and reassemble is a major job. But that's what Big Boss is here for. He makes the impossible possible. Thank you very much, Big Boss, boss of all bosses. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video.